Hallelujah. Dolores, why don't you come up? Hallelujah. And her, all of her family are here with her. And you guys get up, take pictures. You're not in the way, as long as the camera has a view here. Hallelujah. But Dolores, we are so excited to have you come on board and our pastoral staff. Um, I going to not cry. And we're just <laughs> so thankful for your faithfulness, yeah. for the goodness of God that's on you and Tom, and for all that you guys do. A faithful woman truly and man truly abound in blessings. And Dolores is, uh, I'm going to say a little bit about Dolores right now. Dolores Maria, I love that middle name, Maria. We got Carol Joy and Dolores Maria here. <laughs> Hello. She is a graduate of Living Waters Bible School. She has been ordained minister over 15 years. She was the president of Glow International for 16 years. She brings her extensive education and ministry experience over 24 years. Is it like 26 probably now or so, isn't it? Yeah. A few areas of ministry include preschool, preschool chairman, Seniors for Christ ministered Sunday services and Bible studies at Porto La Cruz Women's Prison in Warner Springs, California, ministering in the Pala Indians and having, well, of having a healing ministry of her own. She travels as well. We see her sometimes. She's out and about, and we're so grateful. And when we're gone, she's here in the pulpit giving, giving you guys a fresh word from heaven, and we so appreciate that. She has sung on praise teams with worship, flags, and dance throughout, their, throughout Southern California, Florida, Virginia, Hawaii, and the Philippines for over 20 years. Isn't that great? The Bible has a lot to say about the gifts he places in all of us. In 1 Corinthians 12, 18, it says this, but now God has set members, every one of them, in the church body as it's pleased him. We all need to learn and understand our own God-given assignments. We need to be faithful and fulfill those assignments and use our divine gifts, which God has given us. God has placed wonderful gifts in all of our hearts. It does not matter who we are. God has created us to have a job to do in the flock of God, for sure, in a local church. After all, Jesus said it was his very own body. That's how we come into our family and be here, the body of Christ. And God ex expects all of us to tend to the Bible. Just as David saw over his flock in the old assignment, in his assignment in the Old Testament, uh, he was anointed as king, but his first assignment was always to do what God told him to do. And that's exactly what you do. We're so appreciative of that. As we stick to our own assignments and become faithful over the small things, God will make us rulers over much, the Bible says. As we become faithful in our gifts, it'll make room for promotion because God wants to promote all of us. Proverbs 18, 16 says, a man or woman's gift makes room for them and brings them before great men and women. Through your faithfulness and using your gifts, God will bless you even more, Dolores. Dolores, this is a special time for you. We have watched you and have been so faithful to watch you. And you have been so faithful to watch over all of everyone. You care for everyone in this church and been so faithful. And we know that as you do and we do, we give all the glory to God. We know how much prayer Carol and I have been doing over you and for this position. We know it's evident in our hearts that we're doing the right thing. And this is what the Bible says. The Bible says that now in the church at Antioch, there were certain prophets and teachers as Barnabas and Simeon called Niger and Lucius and Syrian that have been brought to Herod to take it and Saul as they ministered to the Lord, as all these people ministered to the Lord and fasted as we have. And the Holy Ghost said, separate me, Barnabas and Saul, for the work in which I have called them to. We are now separating you to that work. And we're so excited about it. And this is what we're going to do today. We are so excited as a church body, we're going to be praying for you right now, and we're going, to, we're going to ordain you as a minister and a pastor of Believers International Church. You got excited, everybody. I know I am. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> is, uh, is, is president and senior pastor, is vice president and senior pastor also of the church. We're so excited. And so let's reach our hearts and our hands out to her as we pray for her right now. In Jesus' name. Thought Father, we thank you right now. So good, so good, so good you have made this woman to be. And her family, throughout the world, they've seen the gift on this woman, Father. And we're just so excited about the gift. Father, we ask you right now for a fresh anointing on her. 
uh, giftings and callings to be placed in her life. Father, give her all the equipment she needs to fulfill the office you've called her into. In the name of your Lord Jesus Christ, your son, you called her into this ministry. We're all so grateful. We don't take it lightly, Lord. We know this is not a light thing to take. We are so grateful, Father God. Father, we ask you to anoint her family, help her family even more and become stronger and stronger and stronger, more knit together, every single member of her family, Father. Because as you told us when we started this ministry, you do what I tell you to do and we'll all take care of your family. And as she steps out here, she's still gonna be the great mom, the great grandma, the great everything as she always is, Father. And we thank you for that, Father. Father, we now speak blessings over Dolores, just like men and women of the Bible have done. Like like Moses did over Joshua, like Bathsheba did over her son Solomon, Father, like Jesus did over his own disciples, Father God, to give them strength, wisdom, and ability. Dolores, we speak strength and wisdom and ability over you right now. Be blessed, be fruitful, multiply. May you become stronger and stronger and brighter and brighter. May God use you more and more and more for his glory to bring more people to heaven with us, to heal more hearts, mend more bodies. Oh, Father, help her see more clearly and define the great anointing and grace you've placed in this great woman, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for giving us a faithful woman of God, Father. And now, Father, we thank you as we pray over her in Jesus' name. That equipment becomes greater and stronger, and the ability becomes greater and stronger than ever, Father. For you have placed her as a pastor in this church, and we thank you that you have done it. God has placed her here, and we give you all the glory, and we're so excited for it. In Jesus' name, thank you, Father God. Hallelujah. Father, I just speak grace over her, Father God. Thank you for your abilities on her, Father God. And I thank you for her that she will complete your perfect and complete will in the name of Jesus. Thank, thank you, Father. you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Glory thank to God. Let's all raise our hands and just reverence God for a moment. Thank you. Lord, we just thank, thank you. you. You place members in the body as it pleases you, and she's pleased you, and we're so grateful. We'll accept her. Hallelujah. <laughs> we love her, and we thank you, thank and we ordain her, yes. and we say, use her, Lord, and use all of us as a church family to grow and multiply and become more of a blessing to the world wherever we can. In Jesus' thank name, you. and everyone said, amen. Yes. Glory to God. Yes. Hallelujah. Here, here you go. Here you go. It's official. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Glory Thanks to God. God. We're so grateful yeah. all of your family were able to come today too. And we're going we're gonna to process that, edit that, and that should be up on our YouTube channel tomorrow too. So we're just so, I'm so are you excited or what? Yeah. Hallelujah. Well, glory to God. Where do we go from here? Hallelujah. <laughs>